Welcome to Kebby's Kitchen. What's up fam? Welcome back to Kebby's Kitchen. On today's episode, we're actually gonna be making Sunday gravy or bolognese or spaghetti sauce, however you like to refer to it as in your family. Um, actually gonna take these beautiful vine ripened tomatoes and these onions and a few extra additives and go step by step on how I make this particular version of my Sunday sauce. So let's get into this video. Welcome back everybody. I hope you all have been doing well. We've survived yet another month of this awesomeness and today we're making my Sunday gravy or my spaghetti sauce. As you've already saw, we started off chopping our tomatoes. Now we're gonna dice our onions really quickly and we're gonna get on building this Sunday sauce my way. There are a million ways to cut an onion. This is just how I choose to do it. You know, it's one of the most traditional cuts of dicing an onion. Nothing too simple, cut off the ends. Now as you see, I love my Ninja products, my Foodie Grill, my Foodie Blender, like I'm here for it. Just saying Ninja, I'm available for a sponsorship, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so you wanna cut your tomatoes into quarters and pulse everything in a food processor or a blender uh, to get a nice liquid consistency. And just like you see right here, da -da -da -da, and then we're good. Moving on to our Dutch oven. Over medium high heat, you're gonna add in a little extra virgin olive oil. There you go, just like so. And when your oil in your pan is nice and hot, you're gonna throw in your onions. Don't forget to season with a little salt and pepper. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for the full list of ingredients. I got you. Crack black pepper, I love it. Mm, just something about the smell of sauteed onions. There you go. Crushed red pepper flakes, cause you know, we like things spicy. If you can't handle the spice, that's an opt like an optional seasoning. You don't have to use that, but I like spice. And there you go. Add in your tomatoes. Be careful of the splash zone. And give things a nice stir so those flavors can get to know one another. Oh, look at all that bubbly goodness. <laughs> Talk about a flavor bomb. The, the aroma of all this stuff just slaps you in the face, and it smells so ungodly good. You know it's not ready yet, but you wish it was. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna add in our, our roasted garlic bouillon. This is a, a heavy condensed garlic punch right in the back of the throat. It's so, so good. And you're gonna add in some chicken bouillon just to kick things up another notch. Do, 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 do. If you're finding this video beneficial, please smash that subscribe button. Give this video a like. Oh look, wine. I love wine. Perhaps I wouldn't have forgot to edit in something, <laughs> but I did. I'll show you about that later. Once again, the full recipe will be in the description box down below. Wine is an optional ingredient for this sauce. Um, I did not put wine in my sauce this time. That's what I forgot. Wah, wah, wah. We're gonna add in some basil infused crushed tomatoes. You say tomato, I say tomato. <laughs> it's all good either way you slice it. Come on, baby. All right, you're gonna cover this and let it simmer for about 45 minutes. Unfortunately, I also forgot to hit the record button when I was seasoning my meat. I'm pretty confident you guys can brown some meat, but 
I'll cover that in another video. And I actually use uh, ground beef and pork belly for this dish. If you have never tried pork belly in your bolognese, <laughs> hmm, inquiring minds want to know how juicy is it? I'm so cheesy. Um, but this sauce is just heavenly. Now we're gonna quickly build ourselves a little side salad. Uh, just some spring mixed greens ready to go. Nothing super fancy here. Uh, cherry tomatoes are wonderful little punches of tomato -y acidic goodness for this dish. You know, a little cheese never hurt anybody. I love that. It ain't easy being this cheesy. <laughs> um, some seasoned croutons. Typically, I, typically I want to make my own croutons, you know, but these were just there. They were already seasoned and they were good to go. And I was ready to eat this pasta. So I really wanted to just get this salad done quickly. So store-bought croutons, I won't judge. Kiss this little dish with some Parmesan cheese and you're golden. You were good to go. And of course, some zesty Italian dressing. We're having pasta, so why not? Keeping it in the family. There we go. Don't drown your salad, Kevin. Ease up on it. All right, friends, I'll let you enjoy the rest of this video. As you see here, we are starting to plate. I did not show you how to boil pasta because again, I have faith in you. You can do it. And just ladle on your sauce as little or as much as you want and get your entire life together. <laughs> enjoy, folks. Hey everybody, and there you have it. A quick and easy salad. I can give you a little look-see at this. Quick and easy salad, a little zesty Italian dressing. And my take on Sunday gravy. A little bolognese never hurt nobody. <laughs> Freshly trimmed Thai basil from my indoor Arrow Garden Herb Garden. I'll put a link in the description box below. Let's give this a little taste, shall we? Gonna start off with the salad, cause you know, it's the cold food. Quick and easy. I love the complexity and the acidity and the spicy bite of the mixed greens as opposed to just basic iceberg. Yeah, iceberg. Another bite of this before we dip into this. Mind you. we go everybody. Get a little pasta, get a little beef, a little onion, a little pork belly. If you've never tried pork belly in your bolognese, you don't know what you're missing. Take a bite. go. I'm done. I'm so absolutely done. This is out of this world. Oh yes, I'm having a little adult beverage. That was absolutely whew, fantastic. See if I can't let the spirit lead me to another food face. <laughs> Y'all already know what time it is. I can't even continue to speak. So I'll see you next week. God bless. 
thanks for watching everybody and as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe